subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for AWS Certified SysOps Administrator. So let's get started. Question number 1, what exactly is Amazon Web Services? Your answer is. Amazon Web Services is an Amazon-owned brand that offers secure cloud computing services. It provides cloud computing, databases, storage, content delivery, and a variety of other cutting-edge services to organizations of all sizes. Instead of focused on data administration, businesses may focus on client acquisition and retention. IaaS, or Infrastructure as a Service, is another name for this new cloud computing architecture. Question number 2. What role does Buffer play in Amazon Web Services? Your answer is. Buffer synchronizes multiple service components and makes the appropriate adjustments to provide elasticity in order to handle a sudden spike in traffic. When receiving and processing requests, components are prone to traffic and become quite unreliable. Buffer maintains a balance among several components to ensure that services are delivered quickly. Question number 3. What is the most effective approach of cloud data security? Your answer is. Monitoring data while migrating from one location to another is the most efficient technique of safeguarding it. Security key leaks within the number of the cloud storeroom should be regularly managed. To prevent data theft, segregate the information and encrypt it with one of the acceptable techniques in one of the nest methods. Within the cloud, Amazon Web Services offers a very secure method of data management. Question number 4. What are cloud computing several layers? Your answer is. The following is a list of cloud computing layers. 1. Platform as a Service, BIS. 2. Infrastructure as a Service, IaaS. 3. Software as a Service, SaaS. Question number 5. When it comes to scalability and flexibility, what's the difference? Your answer is. Scalability refers to the ability to improve performance in order to complete tasks with the available resources, whereas flexibility refers to the system's ability to work at maximum capacity. Amazon Web Services can scale its services as needed, in addition to being versatile with its auxiliary hardware properties. Question number 6, what exactly do you mean when you say auto-scaling? Your answer is. One of Amazon Web Services' most impressive qualities is its ability to organize and artificially stipulate on its own, as well as generate new problem-solving solutions without your assistance. It can be done by using a watch to specify the boundaries and metrics. Question number 7, which automatic gears assist us in providing spin-up services? Your answer is, spin-up services are built with API tools that are typically used for building scripts. These can be written in Perl, Bash, or any other programming language. Other than controlled ones like WriteScale, tools like Scalar are used. Question number 8, how can you scale an Amazon instance vertically? Your answer is, it is one of Amazon Web Services' most trustworthy features. The last line of defense should be spin up. The instance should be increased, and the root EBS volume should be separated and removed from this server. The system should be restarted after noting down the unique device ID and appending it to the new server. In Amazon Web Services, this is the most efficient way to scale up vertically. Question number 9, what are the steps for starting, stopping, and terminating tasks in the process? Your answer is, when an instance is closed, it behaves like a normal power outage and switches to a clogged position. If the instance is terminated, the associated volumes are removed and the instance is blacked out unless the volume's delete on termination characteristic is set to zero. Question number 10, what's the difference between an instance and an AMI? Your answer is, Amazon EC2 can be accessed through a variety of techniques provided by Amazon Web Services. Amazon Tools for Windows PowerShell, Amazon Web Services Command Line Interface, and Amazon Web Services Command Line Interface. To access Amazon EC2, one must first create an Amazon Web Services account. Many instances can be launched from a single AMI. In most cases, an instance represents the host computer's hardware. The computing and memory capabilities of each instance type vary. Question number 11. What are the most effective security methods in Amazon EC2? Your answer is. 1. 
we may achieve identification and access using Amazon Web Services. 2. To gain access to your resources, we employ management control. 3. Only trustworthy networks with restricted access are allowed to access the ports on your instance. Question number 12. What exactly do you mean when you say elastic block storage? Your answer is. EBS is a virtual storage area network, which implies it is RAID storage that is fault tolerant and redundant. Data is not lost if the disk is corrupted because it has been virtualized. There is no need to hire storage professionals because it may be managed on its own. The information can be retrieved and reinstalled if needed. Question number 13. What are your thoughts on S3 and its applications? Your answer is. It's similar to FTP services in that you can move files around but not mount them. S3 can be used to store and retrieve data via the web from anywhere and at any time. The majority of the organization's data, such as documents and other photos, is stored here. We are able to pay for the S3 service as needed. Question number 14. How can I create an AMI? Your answer is. By setting up an instance on a trusted AMI, you can start the process of creating an AMI then we can put the packages and components together as needed. After launching the instance, for example, the access credentials must be entered into a database. Through speech boxes, on-screen instruction is also offered after each and every action. Question number 15. What is configuration management, and how does it work? Your answer is. Because the software was created before the period of version control, many system administrators prefer manually configuring the servers in the early days when the server was just starting to be deemed important for cooperating. As a result, each server is slightly different from the others. This method of manually configuring servers has been used for a long time, although it was never particularly popular. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.